Tracy. What do you want? You're wonderful. <laughs> There's a magnificence in you, Tracy. Now, I'm getting self-conscious. It's funny, I... Mike, that's... Yeah? I don't know. Go up, I guess. It's late. The magnificence that comes out of your eyes and your voice and the way you stand there and the way you walk. You're lit from within, Tracy. You've got fires banked down in you. Hearth fires and holocausts. I don't seem to you made of bronze. No, you're made out of flesh and blood. That's the blank, unholy surprise of it. Why, well, you're the golden girl, Tracy. Full of life and warmth and delight. What goes on? You've got tears in your eyes. Shut up, shut up. Oh, Mike, keep talking, keep talking. Talk, will you? No, no, I... I've stopped. Why? Has your mind taken hold again, dear Professor? Well, good thing, don't you? Don't you agree? No, Professor. All right, lay off that Professor stuff now. Do you hear me? Yes, Professor. It's really all I am to you, is it? Of course, Professor. Are you sure? Why, yes. Yes, of course. Golly. Mr. Connor, Mr. Connor. Let me tell you something, No, don't Tracy. all of a sudden I've got the shakes. It can't be anything like love, can it? No, no, it mustn't be. It can't. Would it be inconvenient? Terribly. Anyway, I know it isn't. Oh, Mike, we're out of our minds. We're right into our hearts. That audacious music. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, Tracy, you're so as if my insteps were melting away. What is it? Have I got feet of clay or something? Tracy. It's not part of the pool. It's just over the lawn and in the birch grove. It'll be lovely now. Tracy, you're tremendous. Put me in your pocket, Mike. 